Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial we'll be going over UV unwrapping this um, M9 handgun. So, so far we have retopologized it and um, you can see the difference. Uh, um, so basically it's got less detail on. The one, um, the lower poly one is the one you want to um, unwrap. So I'm going to hide uh, the high poly one for now. And I'm going to bring out another screen along here. If you don't know how to, you've got these like little lines up here, and just drag on them, and um, you can pull it out. And if you're having some issues with it, you know, like you accidentally pulled it down like that, uh, you just right click it. But when you have like a double arrow, going either way, uh, just right click on it, and do join area, and then you can join them up like so but okay um so basically we are going to want uh uv editor yep and first thing first i'm going to just select it and let's do a um, uv unwrap um, and this is really bad but we're not worried about that at the moment because we're just going to set up our live UV and wrapping. So um, under UVs, click on um, live UV and wrap. And over in options on the left, enable um, live UV and wrap, like so. Um, and now we want to um, select this, um, keep UVs and edges mode mesh select in sync or whatever and okay so now when we oh, now when we deselect um, it comes up over you know our UV still staying here what's well, pretty cool um, I ain't gonna need this panel so I'm going to make a little bit more room by hitting N and getting rid of that panel uh, basically I want to go on to um, shading and UVs so I can just keep uh, marking seams there's a hot key for it, but I don't ever remember <laughs> it. So I'm using it this way. All right. So basically, what we're going to do is just get in here and start unwrapping. Um, I like going onto um, edge mode and actually unwrap um, here. Like so. So I just mark that. Is that oh, okay? So another thing is, if you come into the UV editor mode, you can go over. If you hit N, you can enable stretchion, uh, so you can kind of see how bad something is stretching and stuff. So you get a good uh, good understand on what parts you need to be focusing on. Uh, so I'm going to unwrap that. Um, and I'm going to just add another loop cut down the bottom here. And along here and here. Mark like that. Hmm. Just trying to get rid of this big one here at the moment. Probably this line along here and that, so I'm going to just mark this. Um, oh, don't want that part there selected. Just mark that. Okay. I'm going to select that point and just hit full stop. Okay, it's up here. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to basically mark these seams in here, like so. Okay, cool. Uh, making it a bit more reasonable. Alright. Gonna do the same for the other side. Over here. Just mark them up. Alright. And just going to find out what part that is. I'm just selecting the, um, a vertex on there or edge and just hit full stop and it takes me right to where the problem is. So I'm just going to select that, mark that. Um, have a 
same underneath as well. Like so. Alright. So, we've got some issues around here, so I'm going to select that loop. Go over here. Okay. So... We don't, I don't think we need that loop. Do we? Um, I left them there for a reason, I'm guessing. Uh, oh yeah, I know why I left them. Right there. So I can actually select them and put seams there. <laughs> uh, I can't believe I forgot that. But, oh, uh, but we don't need this loop here though. So I'm going to get rid of that. Like so. Um, right. It's probably going to take a while to actually unwrap this, but we'll get there. We'll end up going to go over to the parts what mostly messed up. And it's basically just so I had some seams in there. Just block it out at the moment, just so it kind of fills up this whole area. Until it fills up that whole area. So basically the bigger part here was taking up a lot of room and not allowing all this stuff fit in there properly. This is the stuff we need to focus on the most. Um, but I, Oh, I, okay, I did mark that, but I didn't add a seam underneath. Boom. Alright. Brilliant. Okay, um, so what is this related to? Okay, that's the bottom part of the gun here. Um, Gonna add the same there. Ooh. I don't think that really helped. So I'm gonna undo that and put the same here. And there, uh, still doing the same thing. Um So yeah, I'm gonna select that and put the same there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put it there. I was looking up here and seeing why it's all messed up up here, but I realise it's this part here. Um, what is? It's all this other stuff. So basically, this part here, oh, was kind of getting messed up up here. Um, so we're going to need to add some loop cuts as well. Down here. Um, we don't want this part. Oh, we don't want these parts selected. So we deselect them. And we just add a cut along there for now. And, uh, just go down to here. Add them down there as well. Um, so basically, going to add a loop cut. In. I'm going to add a cut in here. Um, going to add this and cut that out. Mm, that isn't really working. So we just like this. Like so. This part here and this part here and see how. Okay, I'm not quite I'm sure what's going on here, so I'm just gonna try and find this area. Okay, so you saying around here. Um, so basically, um Gonna select this area here. Um, this. No, actually, I'm gonna select these parts. Uh, the loop cut there. And basically, I'm gonna actually add a loop cut here as well. Um, might as well go all the way up. Just add loop cut there. Alright. Getting some yellow. Light blue is, you know, blue is good. Um, light blue yeah, is slight stretching. Um, green, not good. Yellow, not good at all. And I'm not sure if that's red. So, yeah. Um, just going to select that stuff. And okay, going to need unwrapping up here. So basically, just adding. Loop selections around here. Just getting this part around here as well. Right. 
but it selected these parts actually what I not wanting. So I'm going to actually select these two parts and hide them for now. And try and do the sl selection again, but I'm going to do it a bit differently. So holding down control instead. Um, so I'm going to mark that like so. I'm going to unhide uh, the stuff. Um, I think that's a little bit better. So I'm going to basically do a loop selection around here as well. I'm holding down control and kind of letting it follow that path itself around like so. Um gonna add loop cut here. Put that in there for now. Um gonna select this and around here. And there. Mark that up for now, like so. Now, over here, we haven't got a cut in here or here. Oh, uh, we don't actually need one in there. Actually, we need one in here, but not on the outside. So I'm just going to add that, like so. Do the same for this side. Alright, that sorted that part out. Alright, and we've got this mess here we need to sort out, so I'm going to select that up. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm going to select this up along here. Now, I could leave one of these faces out and see that might actually unwrap it a little bit nicer. Yep, it kind of keeps it attached slightly so it like all it it's like think of it you can't you can't it's with a pair of scissors right a bit of paper you can it all the way around here this part here kind of folds over and you can kind of see it here you know and that's other side kind of cut out if that makes any sense oh, i love um blender's live unwrap it's literally a life's life saver if, if you don't know how to unwrap it pretty much helps out so much and with enabling stress and stuff you can you know yeah we can definitely improve a lot more on our unwrap but you know it's brilliant to actually visualize and understand how it actually works and actually get it and actually understand it while, you, while you're learning it so if you're new to unwrapping, yeah, definitely, definitely take advantage of um, Blender's um, live unwrap. Even if you're unwrapping in Cube, you know, you can... I remember when I first started out, I couldn't, I wasn't sure how to unwrap a Cube and all that, so it's like... But it looks so easy when other people do it, because they know how to do it. You know, you, well, it's one of the things you have to... It takes a while to understand. Once you understand it, it isn't... It isn't actually that com complex. It does, looks more complex from what it really is. So once you get your head around that, how how it works and stuff is isn't that bad at all. I'm going to add a loop cut along the bottom. Most of the time, as well, you want to hide the seams. You want to put the seams in places that people can't see. Well, you know, another thing is actually having a loop cut down here in the middle instead of two loop, two seams probably would actually be better. So sometimes actually having um, a mir mirror seam and all the way through it is is alright, but it, you know, uh, there are multiple ways, of, uh, you know, doing doing it. So. Basically, I'm going to select this as well, um, and here, 
now I'm gonna actually select this and this and this. I prefer the inner inner side because it's gonna be a bit harder to see when the barrel is there, you know. So I'm hoping that that's my idea that that's that's how I'm thinking it will look like. I'm still I'm still pretty new to you um unwrapping myself. Um so yeah. Just gonna put the seam along there. Um basically gonna select that. I'm gonna leave this part so I can fold over like so and I'm gonna quickly check that out. There's um and we're gonna add that as well. Right. So uh, me adding that part here is just like cutting it a little bit more so there isn't this uh, green stretching area. So it's better. From, I don't know. It might work. It might not. Hit and miss. Half of, you know. Bet your UV unwraps are a lot easier. Your texture is going to be. You know, you don't have to fix up so much stuff. Uh, going to add a loop cut along here. And I'm going to select this. So I'm going to inside here. And actually just put a seam where no one will ever see it. So I'm going to just about hide them as best as we can. Um, so I'm going to track this out. That isn't too bad. What is this angle? I'm going to add the seam there for a second. Okay, that works a little bit better. Uh, it's small. So it isn't too bad. And there's a seam over here. Um, Actually, I'm going to select all of them, and it didn't do it how I wanted. So I'm going to select these, like so. Mark same. Okay, got rid of that stretch in area, and it just kind of fold up on the top there. Right, I've got some green going on down here. So we're going to check on on this. Uh, okay. How would it be if we do the bottom part? I prefer, I don't know, I prefer have it down the bottom because, you know, if you're looking at it again, you're going to be looking from the top down. So, if, if, you, if you, if that makes sense, especially when it's a first person um, shooter, you're going to be looking at it from the top down. Um, um, going to need basically add a loop in there. And can add, cut them as well, mark that. That isn't going to help. Alright, so. Alright, that helped it out a bit more. What happens if we. Now add the seam in here. Right down here. Uh, okay, yep, that's fine. Alright, cool. Another thing is parts that you're not going to see very well, I probably would end up shrinking them down smaller on the... in the UV space. So I'm going to quickly 
see what's going on here. Um, okay, it moved over there. I wonder what's going on with that. Um, so basically, parts out you aren't going to see, you want to move them all up onto a, you know, do, kind of move them out of the way and just scare them down a lot so they're not taking up, um, you know, all, you, you want to save the texture space more for things what are going to show up. That makes sense. You, um, that don't mean like oh, you know, the smaller things. Yeah, shrink them down. No, 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 no. When you're unwrapping, it will automatically um, make it um, the correct size. But seeming as you know, like hypothetically, let's say um, uh, these parts here. Um, these are going to be taking up spaces in here somewhere. They are somewhere in here. Just give me a second, let me mark these up so you can actually see what I'm going on about. So I'm going to mark them. Right. Okay. Well, there's one. Don't know where that one is. Okay. So, these two pieces are here. They're taking up um, texture space, what we could um, use for sign cast. So, and we could scale that down and make like a black pixel. Well, probably would be a bit bigger than a black pix pixel. But the same thing for the um, inside here and um, this part here. It's going to be like complete black so you can't really see it. Um, and hopefully the AO will help to hide it as well. That's my theory. Alright. So, let's carry on cracking on with this, shall we? Alright. Uh, we haven't unwrapped the handle yet, so I'm going to quickly do this. And... Right. Uh, yeah, it's a mess. Um, Going to add a loop cut around there. Um, like inside here as well, you know, taking up space that you don't. You're not going to really see. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Like having. Maybe actually adding like a loop cut along here and actually making this part a little bit more detailed than the rest. Kind of, you know, we're not worried about. We don't really care about it as much. Like, unless it's whatever you're making it for is very important that you see it in there. You know, so it's, but this is going to be a game piece, so I. Oh, I don't think it's actually going to be that important at all. Um, just going to select this sample. Uh, just basically let's cut that. Um, again, add loop cut here. Mm. Right. Quickly zoom into this. So, I kind of want to do a loop selection around here. Alright, so that came out alright, perfect. Um, what about this stuff? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to quickly have a look on this. That's fine. And what about this? That's, that's alright. Um, and as well, uh, is it left or right uh, that people look at? So I'm guessing you know this is my theory. I'm probably going to get it totally wrong, uh, but I'm guessing people hold it in a actually people right-handed on there. So let's see it from this angle instead of that angle more. I don't know. So yeah. Problems with being left-handed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to pretty much select this side because this part isn't um, no, marked up. And boom. Okay, cool. That made a nice difference. All right. Uh, we can. I'm going to actually select from here to here, as it seems it's going to be a bit nicer to hide than this big piece. So I'm just going to hide that as well. Um, and basically 
from here. All the way to. Oh, okay, you're not going to play ball, are you? Right. Just control selecting. So I'm holding down control and just selecting along here. And I'm just clearing them. Oh. Right, and I'm going to just add a seam in here. Right. Go and add the seam from here uh, uh, up to here. Mark that up like so. Uh, it's looking a bit more cleaner. Um, we've got these small patches now, really, and it's one big piece up here. So we want to sort this stuff out now as well. Uh, go and select along there. Um, I really don't want to select this stuff, but I don't think I have a choice. Well, actually, I do have a choice. I could just leave it, but I'm not going to. Um, seam in those, you're going to be looking at it from that side. I prefer to put a seam here. Um, Actually, I'm going to undo that quickly. Um, put same there. Okay, and I will do the same up here, actually. Because just long points, what... Really better off just kind of making that a bit more... Fitting. And instead of it just being a mess, if you know what I mean. Alright, uh, we've got Polygon here, what been a nightmare. Where are you? Right. Uh, so, basically, you're going to select. Nope. This stuff. Going to cut that. Alright, and that isn't any better. What if I had. Oh, what if I had that loop cut in there? Uh, nope. Alright. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to actually select around here as well. Oh. quickly and just mark that. See how that comes across. Don't don't want to do that though. Maybe I will just make sure my merging thing is on. The welding tool, whatever you want to call it, and just snap it there and quickly do unwrap his head and Maybe still not. Right. So that didn't work out. Okay. Um. I'm going to turn snapping off and just move that. Out. Go on vertex mode. Oh, I want only move this one. Why does we move it up a little bit? Okay, so we're going to pretty much have to fit with that a bit later, but yeah. I'm going to loop select the staff. Like so. We're going to mark that up. There's some ugly stuff around here as well, so okay, I'm going to pretty much select all along here, and anyway, right, I'm going to mark this up quickly and and clear that. Get rid of that. All right, well. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you um, like it, um, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more, um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will 
carry on with this and uh, you'll see it in the next tutorial so if you want to hop on over I'll see you over there. Alright, I'll catch you later.